Hello buddy, Sanier, engineer, MBA and investor and in today's video, I want to talk about once again, NVT, but for different reasons. Today, they were up over 278%, which is mind boggling. I want to talk about all of that here in this video. But before we do that, just a special note to all of our viewers and specifically subscribers, because we have now reached officially over 2000 subscribers on this channel. This is amazing, guys. Thank you so much. I might just make a dedicated video sometime this week just for uh, thanking everybody. But this is amazing. 2000 subscribers. Never in my wildest dreams I would ever think that I would reach this number. In fact, I didn't even think I would make a YouTube video ever. Uh, but of course, things change in the early part of 2021 and decided to publish a video. And here we are after over a year and a half, lots of subscribers. That is amazing, guys. Our community is growing. So thank you so much for the subscribers. Thank you so much for liking our videos for sure. And I am going to make a specific video here uh, talking about the 2000 subscribers. Uh, but again, thank you so much, guys. And let's jump right into it. So again, today they were this company and Vite was up 278% closing date. Uh, so now the first question you should ask is what the hell? How did they go from like $2 something a share all the way to $8 and $63 a share? You know, we we actually made a video yesterday on Envite, which I do want to correct a statement I made from yesterday's video, but it's ironic that yesterday I made a video on Envite. I was sort of, you know, making fun of how this company is down like 95%. It was more of a video about SoftBank rather than Envite, but whatever, you know, I was sort of like, uh, I sort of made poke fun of Envite here and there from yesterday's video. And then today, obviously I get hit hard with this huge uh, spike. Uh, and I think it's amazing for shareholders. I know a lot of people watching this channel have shares in Envite. So congratulations to everybody that's been dollar costing, averaging, or people that bought in the recent weeks. You're obviously up three over threefold, which is crazy, right? Um, but I didn't want to correct a statement I made. Um, and of course, I do want to also reinforce the point that the reason why they're up uh, 300 almost percent is basically because they pu published their earnings today and they notified to the world that they had a good, strong growth in revenue and it was better than expected losses. So basically short sellers, uh, because this stock was heavily, heavily attacked by short sellers, they had to cover their positions because of their performance there. And this is what you have, a spike, a squeeze, whatever you want to call it, because clearly it is a sort of squeeze either. If you take a lead, they're basically back to their March, early part of March level. Uh, which is crazy good. Uh, so obviously a over 90 days high now. So I did want to correct a statement yesterday I made, um, and I was corrected by several viewers, not just on YouTube, but also um, on, a, on another social media platform, is that I'm, I sort of said in yesterday's video, and again, we don't edit anything in this channel, guys. You know, I just, you know, spew out whatever I think. Of course, I do my homework beforehand. I try to do my homework, but obviously I didn't do it in this uh, for this video yesterday to the point where I made a mistake by stating that uh, they had invested $1.2 billion in an NVT by buying public shares. Uh, the mistake I did was the last part of that statement. They did invest $1.2 billion, but if I had read, read the same article that I actually talked about, what actually happened is they actually bought convertible debt, right? They actually bought convertible notes, debt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and basically, actually, it's not that bad of a deal because... Uh, and Vite basically the way convertible nodes that whatever you call them they work and I, I again you can Google this in Investopedia whatever they have the official definition is that the basically and Vite is gonna pay 1.5 percent interest on that 1.2 uh, uh, billion dollars so if we do the calculation here since uh, I think it's worth doing it uh, so if I do the calculation really quickly for you guys uh, so if I do the one point so basically, NVT is going to be paying $18 million to, uh, to SoftBank, basically, because NVT was able to get $1.2 billion from SoftBank. But in return, they will be paying 1.5% uh, per year in interest to SoftBank. So that's $18 million cash to, uh, to SoftBank. And I'm assuming that's obviously going to come out of their balance sheet. Uh, but in return, the company said that the notes will have an initial conversion of 
uh, $43.18 share per common stock representing a premium of 10%. That is, of course, the premium at that time when it was trading at around uh, uh, April of uh, 2021 or whatever. But the point here is that uh, it, it is a convertible debt, convertible note. It's not SoftBank buying $1.2 billion worth of public shares like, like me or you that can buy. Uh, it's actually, you know, the company and Vitae uh, going through convertible notes with uh, Invite, so they Invite uh, with SoftBank, sorry. So Invite will be paying a uh, that figure that we just looked at 1.5 percent per year on the 1.2 billion dollars to SoftBank. So SoftBank will be getting that money, and in return, SoftBank can basically convert that to this conversion price. But I'll be honest with you, it's still bad. I mean. I don't know. I, I'm not going to do the calculations here, uh, especially not when a company is up like 300% in a day. You know, at that point, what's the point of doing these calculations, right? Uh, but the point here is that they're still heavily down. I mean, make no mistake. It's not like SoftBank is out of the wood and they're like, instead of being down, like, uh, I don't know, we said $1.125 uh, billion, uh, they're down like $100 million. They're down well above $100 million, right? If you do the calculation, on the premium price, basically at this price, conversion price, uh, they're still really down. So if they were to convert today, they'll lose so many millions and millions of dollars, if not a billion, right? So I haven't done the calculation. I'll let you guys do that. But I just wanted to com correct that statement from yesterday's video. But uh, again, good work from Envite. I've always mentioned this, but Envite, I strongly believe they have a space in this genomics world. I just think it was one of those unlucky stocks. I mean, I think it's the top three unlucky stocks in the market right now. I think Invite, Peloton, and I would probably put, I don't know, Palantir, Roku, or uh, maybe even, you know, Square or PayPal in there, just of a different sector that's got beaten so hard, yet all those companies that I mentioned have a place in the future, uh, except Peloton, except Peloton, because I think Peloton is... It's not really a company that can exist long term, I think. But anyways, that's all off topic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do like this video. Do subscribe. Join the 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you.